is uh, Bruce Falk of the Rochester Citizen. I'm in Wisconsin today. I've been visiting my granddaughter here, and I happen to come out for the Fighting, Fighting, Bob, uh, Fighting Bob Fest. And we're here with Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin from Wisconsin. What district do you represent in Wisconsin? I, rep I represent Wisconsin's second congressional district. That's South Central Wisconsin, including the city of Madison. And the district goes from the Illinois border up to Wisconsin Dells. Okay, and you are what I would consider from listening to you speak here this morning, a real progressive. So tell maybe people in Michigan, you know, what some of your stances are maybe on the tax cuts that are coming out that we're talking about now and some of the truth-telling that you were talking to the crowd about. Certainly. Well, first of all, let me say a little bit about uh, Wisconsin and progressives because we're at Fighting Bob Fest and Fighting Bob Fest is named after Fighting Bob La Follette, a former uh, congressman from the district that I represent, so I have big shoes to fill, uh, a former U.S. Senator and a former Governor of the state of Wisconsin. When first elected he was a Republican but he founded the Progressive Party because of his belief in uh, in populism and the idea that we can't let big corporations run the country and that big government is just as bad if unchecked and if checks and balances are lacking as big corporations so that we have to give the people a real voice and real power. So you just asked me about what a progressive view on taxation might be and I'll tell you progressive taxation is a progressive view on, on taxes. Uh, we are at a point in our nation's history where the um, two major tax cuts offered by President George W. Bush are about to expire and there's a big debate going on about what should happen to those. My view is that we have to look at each one of them separately. These, uh, the 2001 and 2003 uh, tax packages were huge packages that had all sorts of uh, components. And I certainly agree with the President that we should allow the huge tax break that George W. Bush gave to the richest Americans to expire. The time for that break has passed. And uh, as, as to other taxes, there's going to be a debate on capital gains, on the estate tax, on uh, middle class taxes, etc. I do believe that now is a time to keep a break for the middle class and the working families of America because times are really tough right now. And so those should be kept uh, intact, but others need to be evaluated tax by tax to see what's appropriate. What would you say to progressives that maybe are a little bit disheartened by President Obama and some of his policy and some of his uh, stances on issues? He, he seems to be back lately, the last week or so. He seems to be you know, on the campaign stump and really hitting on progressive issues hard. What would you say to progressives that are a little bit disheartened about this election season and what they have to do to make it come out hopefully the way we want it to? Well, I would, what I would say to progressives is that these struggles are big struggles, and these struggles always take time. I think about some of our nation's longest uh, battles, whether it's civil rights or women's suffrage, uh, or even our effort to get health care guaranteed for all Americans. These are things that none of them happened overnight. They were the result of efforts movements, grassroots participation, and anyone who thought that just by electing uh, a, a new president with uh, wonderful ideas and a very, um, a very inspirational uh, president, uh, the legislative process is still slow and cumbersome, and it is also still something that uh, uh, products come out of compromise. And so, if you're in it for the long haul, you can't sit this midterm out. If you're in it for the long haul, you want justice, fairness, an end to war, whatever progressive values you bring to um, the fore as a citizen, you got to keep it, keep in this for the long haul. It's not a one election battle. This is something that we do every two years to keep on getting better, to form our more perfect union. We're going to be at the, uh, there's a big march planned uh, for 10-2, uh, uh, One Nation Working Together. I don't know if you've been invited yet. I don't know if you've even heard about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time, Congresswoman. Thanks.